Hello and welcome to another episode of the Global Seducer Quickie Podcast. Today's topic, how to make a woman addicted to you. Yes, today I want to show you how you can make the most beautiful women in this world addicted to you. And it all starts with a sandbox. No, I'm not talking about how I met your mother. I won't sing sand castles in the sand for you. Instead, I want you to think about yourself as a little boy who was playing in the sandbox. And I'm sure you were playing in the sandbox when you were a little child. Maybe you don't have any memories anymore. Maybe it was a traumatic event because you were drowning in the sand. I don't know. But what I mean by that is that you have the playfulness of a little boy. The most charming man and the most attractive man to women, the man who make women addicted to them, have this playful presence. They are fully present when they are interacting with a woman. And yes, they also have the maturity of a man who makes wise decisions, who's financially responsible, and who clearly communicates what he wants and what he doesn't want. But at the same time, you also have this playful imagination. You act a little bit like a boy. So many men nowadays think that they have to be alpha all the time. Don't smile, don't laugh. I mean, yes, if you want to attract women who never smile and who never laugh, then uh, more power to you. But I love playful girls. I love women who are fun to be around. And they want a man who enjoys his life. And if you laugh when you want to laugh, if you crack a joke when you want to crack a joke, if you have this playful energy, and if you don't take yourself and life so seriously, this can be extremely attractive. And please don't confuse taking your life not so seriously and yourself not so seriously with being a bum and having no job, no income, and just saying, oh, YOLO, whatever. <laughs> That's, of course, not what I mean, but I just want you to enjoy yourself, enjoy your life, and enjoy your lifestyle. And that's also why in the first chapter of my book, Rise of the Phoenix, I talk so much about your confidence, your habits, and yes, also your lifestyle and how you can design a life and a lifestyle for yourself that you love, that makes you fall in love with yourself and with your life, and that women love. And if you want to find out more about my amazing, brilliant, incredible, and maybe a little bit German, I mean, from the efficiency, not from the language, don't worry, I've written it in English, so you don't have to learn German for it. But if you want to find out more about my book, you can go to globalseducer.com slash book, or you can click on the first link in the description. And you can also make a woman addicted to you by being masculine. And a masculine man doesn't necessarily have to look masculine. I mean, hey, I have a baby face, I'm skinny, and now that I hit 30, I can finally grow a little beard, but it's just a little beard. So I'm not really the perfect, yeah, you can say, example of who the masculine alpha man. But I have certain qualities that make me masculine and that make women look at me in a way where they see a masculine man, even though I might not look like it. But it's all about who you are internally. I mean, there are so many muscular, self-proclaimed alphas nowadays who just wear this external mask, but they don't really have the confidence that allows them to truly be masculine men. They are not good leaders. They are not self-confident when it comes to women testing them. They can't deal with rejection. They don't have an abundance mindset. But if you have this in your life, then you can dominate life. And I don't mean this being domineering with women. I don't want you to be some kind of dictator and say, rrr, 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 I'm a dominant man. What I mean is that you are able to make important decisions for yourself. You have boundaries, you communicate that you are a high-value man. And as this high-value man, you speak your truth. As this high-value man, you do what you intend to do. As this high-value man, you are different than all these men who don't have a spine, who don't have a backbone, who don't have anything, <laughs> nothing, they have nothing, who are just so needy that they say, oh, yes, yes, I agree with you to every woman. I want you to be a confident man, and I want you to be a man who embraces his life. And if you are this type of guy, women will become addicted to you without you doing anything. But if you want to do something, and if you want to do something right after listening to this episode, then you can go to globalseducer.com slash video and watch this video. And I mean, 
actively watch this video. Really study this video. Don't just watch it passively while you're scrolling your Facebook or Instagram. Watch it actively. Go to globalseducer.com slash video or click on the second link in the description. And this video might as well change your life. I mean, for me, this video is incredible and also the program behind it that you can then invest in, but only, of course, if you want. But you can at least watch the video because, hey, it's for free and you can learn so, so much. And then make her addicted to you by being a charming motherfucker, as Hank Moody would say. If you are a charming man, women will become addicted to you. And when it comes to charming, I always think about George Clooney in the Nespresso advertisement, or basically in any movie he's ever been in. He has this, and this again brings me back to the point I mentioned earlier, this boyish charm. He has this playful attitude, this cheeky smile, just like a boy, but with the maturity and the confidence of a grown man. And this is the type of guy that women are attracted to. When you have the heart of a child and you combine it with the soul and the presence of a grown man, this is an addictive combination. And then women will be addicted to you, especially if you then express this heart of a child by being an adventurer, by taking her on adventures. Why do you think Han Solo gets Princess Leia? Okay, maybe because her brother doesn't want her anymore. <laughs> but anyway, in every movie that has ever been created, unless you count all these kind of propaganda movies nowadays, but that's a different story, let's say everything that has been created before the year 2010, it always started with the woman not liking the hero and thinking, oh, he's such a jerk, he's such a stupid idiot, no, I don't like him. But then throughout the movie, with all kinds of different adventures, the woman is then falling in love with the hero. Ooh, how romantic. And you can be this hero for her. You can give her these feelings. You can take her on adventures and it can be just a walk in the park it can be a little road trip or for example if you live close to a beach you go to the beach with her or if you have a public swimming pool somewhere you take her there and you then swim with her so many men i would say 99 percent of men in this world they go on the first second and third day to starbucks i mean whoa, whoa, how adventurous but if you are different and if you maybe also choose one of the 66 first date ideas that i share with you in my book rise of the phoenix then you will be different and then she'll be addicted to you either after the first or after the second date because you will take her to places that all the other guys she dated before have never taken her to. And as a man who makes women addicted to you, you give her compliments in a confident way. You don't just say, oh, you're beautiful. Instead, you look at her. You smile in a cheeky way and you, for example, say, there's something about you. I don't know what it is, but it drives me wild. There's something about you that I can't resist. Or you can, for example, look at her and say, you can't even imagine what thoughts you put in my mind. You don't even want to know what I'm thinking about right now. And then she will ask you, what are you thinking about? I want to know, I want to know. And that's how you take women on an emotional roller coaster. That's how you allow them to feel something. And remember, seduction is all about feelings. It's about creating these positive emotions in her that make her want you more and that make her love spending time with you, that make her look forward to the next time you call her or text her. And if you want to have the ability to make women want to text you, to make women want to call you, and if you want to overcome your approach anxiety, and if you want to have the ability to approach any woman you want, then you might want to click on the first link in the description or go to globalseducer.com slash book and find out more about my book, Rise of the Phoenix. Because in my book, I teach you how to approach women, how to go on dates and succeed on dates, how to make women attracted to you, and one of the free bonuses that you get. I mean, the other bonuses are loaded with copy and paste text messages and word-for-word -word openers, but one of the bonuses, the one bonus program that I received so many thank you emails for, is the Approach Anxiety audio course that I recently created and included as a bonus program. And in this audio course, I teach you step-by-step with very practical techniques, how you can easily overcome your approach anxiety once and for all. And you get this audio course completely for free if you invest in my book, Rise of the Phoenix, today. And if you enjoyed this episode, then I would really appreciate it if you could show your appreciation 
for the Global City Usac Wiki podcast by leaving a review on iTunes. And if you do that, you can send an email to Sebastian at globalseducer.com with a screenshot of your iTunes review. And I will say thank you by giving you free instant access to an audio course in which I show you how you can and will succeed on Tinder. But just like investing in my book and reading my book or listening to the audiobook version, you will only succeed if you put the advice into practice, no matter if we're talking about my book or about the Tinder audio course that you get for free if you decide to leave a review on iTunes. Always remember that you have to put the advice into practice. You have to do and then you will succeed.